Hey, Michael. How are you doing? Welcome to Carpool with Trey. How's your day going, man? I'm doing well, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a good day so far. How about you? Ah, uh, my day is going amazing. My day is going amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, I was gonna ask, how do you feel about being in your first podcast? I think it's good. It's really cool. I've watched so many podcasts and listen. I mean, listen to so many podcasts that yeah. you know. I think it's really cool to to be in one. Yeah. Never. Did- uh, never had that experience before. So <laughs> yeah. definitely a new experience. Yes, new experience unlocked. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> As you. Uh, so tell me a little bit about yourself, man. What do you do? What are your interests? Uh, what's, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So um, let's see. I uh, graduated from college in 2015. I went to Purdue in Indiana. Oh, nice. And then uh, I moved back to the city, got a job, mm-hmm. uh, and I've still been at the same job. Uh, you know, I've had different promotions and working in different groups and stuff like that. But I really love my job and nice. the people I work with. Yeah. I work in finance. Uh, good. It's pretty interesting. It's dynamic. Every day is different. You yeah. Know? Um, kind of like your job, I bet. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every, something new. Every day, some different people. Yes. Yeah, and yeah, and uh, no, in my free time, I like I play tennis. Oh, nice. uh, I'm actually going to play bocce ball right now. I, but, I'm in a bocce ball league over the summer. So, oh, yeah. I've never heard this sport before. Oh yeah, it's like so. It's originally like an Italian lawn yard sport. Okay. Um, it's kind of cool, easy concept. You just uh, you're on teams of of three or four people sounds cool too yeah yeah so what is i'm um, sorry yeah go ahead continue yeah you're on teams of three or four people and you try to get uh uh toss the toss these these balls and get them as close to uh uh, uh like a main ball as possible oh is yeah, it the one stay. where you just scrape the floor and go that's th- different that's different that's different yeah, right that's different okay uh is it like you roll the ball yeah you roll it so okay. you can you know do it overhand underhand however you want you mm-hmm. know there's some like little rules that you learn but mm-hmm. uh Overall, it's just fun. Just like fun to hang out and do it outside in the summer. Yeah. So pretty chill game too, actually. Yeah, it is. You don't have to do a lot of hard work. You can still get the the sportsman that competition. Yeah, exactly. Feeling and uh, I love the strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like a golf, no? Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah, okay. It's a strategic Go, but game. Uh, just you do it with the hand. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Is it like there are multiple balls uh, on the target, or there is a hole? at the target yeah you, you so at the beginning you throw what's called a pinoli ball okay which is it's a little tiny it's a little tiny almost like picture like a like a field hockey ball okay okay, and okay. you throw that it's even smaller than that you okay. throw it okay. and then you have to then you have a toss so like your team throws it then you have a toss where you have a bigger like yeah a heavier ball yes and you have to get it as close as possible oh i and see and then the other team responds you go back and forth like mm-hmm. kind of in a uh, okay depending on who's, who's closer. So how do you measure the closest? They have they have a, a measuring tape there. <laughs> okay. It's like, sometimes it's like super obvious. Yes. But when they're close calls, that's a really good question. They actually have a, a measuring tape. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. And how, this, how, what's the closest, the, uh, what's the smallest measuring tape can measure? Uh, it goes out of the centimeter, I think. Okay, yeah. so centimeter so, is the closest one yeah, you guys can yeah, go. Yeah, I think it's... I was gonna say, what if somebody's like super close, two balls, like super. Yeah, so that I've seen that once. Yes. So they're both touching. Yes. So they were both like they were both touching the the pinoli ball, yeah. and they were touching each other. Yeah. And um, that's a wash. They just took they took them both off the table. Oh, okay, like a tie. Yeah, like a, yeah, like a draw. Yeah. Draw, draw, exactly. draw. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah same it's, thing. Yeah, okay. it's it's an interesting. It's sport funny. I asked my buddy about that. He's like, I've never seen that before. Then two <laughs> weeks ago, it happened. Yeah. But, is this sport is an Olympic or not yet? Is a new sport? I think it's been around a long time. I'm not sure if it's Olympic. Yeah, because there is a new sport, another called kettle ball. Oh, I've never heard of that. What's that? Yeah, it's it's. I don't know that either. I've heard of it, but uh, it's appeared to be on Olympic soon. And yeah, I don't know about. So this is the new sport I I learned. What is what does it say? I'm sorry, I forgot the name. Oh, it's called a bocce ball. So bocce B-O-C-C-E. ball. B-O-C-C-E. Bocce. It's like an Italian. Okay. Well, it originated as like an Italian lawn game. Oh, okay. So, okay, nice. Bocce game. Bocce yeah, ball. Bocce ball. Bocce ball, yeah. yeah. And the kettle ball, what, what I have somewhat of an information of it yeah. is, it's like mixture of table tennis, squash, and tennis. Really? If I'm not wrong, yeah. Because I saw the handle, right? It's a little bit bigger than table tennis racket. You know, the table tennis is like this big. But this one I saw, it's like smaller than tennis racket. 
Okay, so somewhere <laughs> but, in the middle. Yeah, somewhere in the middle. Is it singles? Is it like one on one or is it like doubles? Doubles, like squash. So like see, squ- but that's when that, the squash, squash comes squash. in, okay. where where yeah. two people play side by side. Yeah. And tennis is because they use, I think, tennis kind of ball. Oh. That's so cool. so I don't know if I'm How do you right. Spell or it again? Uh, kettle ball. K a t t l e ball. I okay. may be hundred percent wrong. I'm not sure. No, that's cool. I'm but uh, I've whatever heard. I've seen, like a small glance, <laughs> that's what I got <laughs> out of it. And if I'm right, uh, yeah, it's gonna be fine. But uh, yes. do you play any other spa, uh, an other sport than uh, bocce ball? Yeah, I like to play tennis. tennis. And uh, mm-hmm. so I gotta look into kettleball. And then uh, I also play golf a little bit. Oh, nice. Not a lot, but nice. I, like, I, mean, I like tennis better. Yeah, tennis better. I like better. for the same reason. All three kind of strategic games. Yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. Do you play tennis uh, for fun or do uh, you play for league and stuff? I play for fun. So mm-hmm. I'm a member at uh, a health club here. Okay. And they have indoor tennis courts. So nice. I, you know, do some lessons there and then I meet people there who like to play. And then, nice. you know, we just play on the weekends or, mm-hmm. you know, whenever we have time during the week. So Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's a good way. It's it, a uh, good way to keep your day busy in the city. Exactly, man. You know, uh, yeah. And something productive. Exactly. I never thought of that idea. Like, I always wondered, like, oh, how do I meet people and do this or that? Just, like, sign up for a lesson. Yes. And then you obviously meet people of the same yes, interest. Yes, yes, yes. And time available at some mm-hmm. point, you know. So do you like networking, I assume, after yeah, this? Yeah, definitely. Right? What are a couple of your tips and tricks for networking? Yeah, I think my, my number one tip for networking is is just to be yourself, to be like super authentic. Because I feel like sometimes people are trying to be somebody they're not Definitely. when they're networking yes. because they want to seem like the person they need to be. Yeah. And they they sell themselves short because you can't you can't pretend to be somebody you're not and forever. It's that like, is amazing. It's not sustainable. And then, um, and also maybe there's something that you don't know that they're looking for. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, and yes. they're only gonna find out one way. So, you definitely don't know what another person has to give you uh in exchange of anything you know right uh, yeah you learn so much uh from them that's the to be honest the whole purpose of doing this podcast as well there i get to talk to a bunch of people and able to network somehow yeah dude, i think that's awesome yeah that's great thank you thank you so much um do you go to any networking event or something like that or you just try to find people naturally yeah when opportunities present themselves like try to go to networking events you know i'm involved in uh a couple organizations, one charity, and I'm involved in uh, sort of like this like like finance group in Chicago. So mm-hmm. try to go to those events as much as possible, meet mm-hmm. new people. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes they do the same thing as me. Sometimes they do different things. It's always just cool to have a big network and yes. know a little bit about everything. And um, um, I just find that to be like expansive. You know, mm-hmm. it was hard for me at first though because. You know, I wouldn't, I'd be like a little intimidated to go to like these big things, you know, but yeah. I feel like everybody feels that way to some extent. Mm-hmm. So half of it's just signing up just like anything else. Okay. And are these a networking even for free or you got to pay for them? Uh, for the one, the, the charity is actually free. Like, you know, you donate your time and like their dues and stuff. So yeah. I guess it depends how you think about it. But, uh, and then, um, the finance organization I'm in is also uh, like a membership thing. So. Okay. And how does that work? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah. So you pay, uh, so I pass these exams and then, uh, you get like a certification and then, uh, you get, you have the option to join, uh, you know, the, uh, the local, uh, club. Oh. Uh-huh. And so I joined and mm-hmm. then they host events. So they'll have like a speaker talk about like a topic in finance. But before that and after that, there's sort of networking and, you know, if it's in the evening, it, it's drinks or if it's during the day, it's like lunch or like, mm-hmm. you know, like soft drinks and stuff. So oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, coffee. And uh, I just always found those really, really great places to meet people who uh, are, are similar to you, but, you know, might do something different. Or, you know. No, definitely. Uh, so th- normal people are not allowed there. The people who doesn't have finance certificate, I mean. No, you can go. Oh, okay, yeah. you can go. Yeah, CFA oh. Society of Chicago. You can look it up. And I'm can, sorry, what, what's the name? the CFA Society of Chicago. CFA Society of Chicago. You can look it up and you can sign up and uh, yeah. go to any event you want. Like, All you right. Can pay, like, sometimes it's like 20 to $40. Oh, okay. CFA. CFA Group of Chicago. CFA Society. CFA Society. Okay, perfect. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Michael, being in the podcast. It was very pleasure to have you. Would you like to say something to the people? Hey, thank you. First time. <laughs> First timer. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, thank man. You. It thank was you. very nice talking to you. Yeah, super nice to meet you, man. Thank Trust you so much. Drive safe. Thank you so much.